ladies and gentlemen. This is Carl Phillips again, out at the Wilmot Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Professor like Pearson and myself made the 11 miles from Princeton in 10 minutes. Well, I hardly know where to begin. Thank you, your word picture of a strange scene before my eyes, but something out of a modern Arabian night. Well, I just got here. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. I guess that's it. Yes, I guess that's the thing directly in front of me. Half buried in a vast pit. Must have struck with terrific force. The ground is covered with splinters of a tree. It must have struck on its way down. But I can see the object itself doesn't look very much like a meteor. At least not the meteors I've seen. It looks more like a huge cylinder. Has a diameter of, um, um, what would you say, Professor Pearson? What's that? Uh, what would you say, uh, what's the diameter of this? About 30 yards. About 30 yards. The metal on the sheath is, well, I've never seen anything like it. The color is sort of yellowish-white. It's curious. Spectators now are pressing close to the object in spite of the efforts of the police to keep them back. Uh, getting in front of my line of vision. Uh, 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 would you mind standing one side, please? A while the police are pushing the crowd back. Here's Mr. Wilmot, owner of the farm here. He may have some interesting facts to add. Mr. Wilmot, uh, would you please tell the radio audience as much as you remember of this rather unusual visitor that dropped in your backyard? Uh, a step closer, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Wilmot. Well, I was listening to the radio. Closer and louder, please. Pardon me? Uh, louder, please. Closer. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was listening to the radio and kind of drowsy. That professor fellow was talking about Mars, so I was half chosen and half... Yes, yes, Mr. Wilmot, and uh, then what happened? Well, as I was saying, I was listening to the radio kind of halfway... Yes, Mr. Wilmot, and then you saw something. Well, not first off. I heard something. And what did you hear? A uh, hissing sound like this. Uh, kind of like a Fourth of July rocket. Yes, then what? I turned my head out the window and would have sworn I was to sleep and dreaming. Yes. I seen a kind of greenish streak and then zingo. Something smacked the ground. Knocked me clear out of my chair. Well, were you frightened, Mr. Wilmot? Well, I ain't quite sure. I reckon I was kind of riled. Well, thank you, Mr. Wilmot. Thank you very much. Yeah, you want me to tell No, that's quite all right. That's plenty. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just heard Mr. Wilmot, owner of the farm. Something happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is terrific. This end of the thing is beginning to flake off. The top is beginning to rotate like a screw, and this thing must be hollow. He's moving! Keep back there! Keep those idiots back! Keep those idiots back! Take off! The cops blew! Stand back! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most terrifying thing I, I've ever witnessed. Wait a minute. Something I can see turning out of that black hole through luminous discs. The eyes, it might be a face, might be almost a... But heavens, something wriggling out of the shadow like a gray snake. Now it's another one, and another one, and another one. They look like tentacles to me. But... Oh, yeah, I can see the thing's body. Now it's large, and as large as a bear. It glistens like wet leather, but that face, it's... ladies and gentlemen, it's indescribable. I can hardly force myself to keep looking at it. It's so awful. The eyes are black, and they gleam like a serpent. The mouth is that's kind of V-shaped with saliva dripping from its rimless lips. It seemed to... Oh, it's quiver and pulsate, and the monster or whatever it is can hardly move. It seems weighed down by uh, possibly gravity or something. The thing's rising up now, and the crowd falls back. It seems plenty. That I can see it now. It's a white handkerchief tied to a pole. Flag of truce. If those creatures know what that means, what anything means. Wait a minute, something's happening. A humped shape is rising out of the pit. I can make out a small beam of light against a mirror. What's that? There's a jet of flame springing from the mirror and it leaps right at the advancing men. He strikes them head on. The Lord, they're turning into flames. How the hell is caught by the woods of... Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. Evidently, there's some difficulty with our field transmission. However, we will return to that point at the earliest opportunity. 